In this tutorial, you will learn how to instantly model meshing internal and external gear pairs in Blender, using an online calculator that we have developed. An internal gear is one with the teeth pointing inwards rather than outwards. Let's model an internal external gear pair with 48 and 18 teeth, respectively, both with herringbone shaped teeth. Delete the default cube. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Go to the instant internal gear calculator at www.hotvinted.com slash instant internal.html. Enter 18 and 48 for the number of teeth of the external and internal gears, respectively. Leave the other boxes intact. Click the calculate button. Ignore the overlap warning, for now. Press Ctrl C to copy the generated Python script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, open a new window and select Text Editor for the window type. Press New. Paste the script from the clipboard to the new window. Press Run Script. The outlines of the gears have been created instantly. Note that the outlines overlap slightly. This is what the calculator's warning was about. Go back to the calculator. Increase the profile shift for the internal gear by small increments until the warning no longer appears. Copy and paste the new script to Blender. Delete the existing outlines and run the script again. As you can see, the outlines no longer overlap because the profile shift has slightly reshaped the teeth of the outer gear, and increased the distance between the gear centers. Let's turn these outlines into full-bodied gears with herringbone teeth. Select the outer gear. Enter the edit mode and extrude upwards by 5. Create 5 loop cuts. Go back to the calculator. Enter 15 for the helix angle and 5 for the tooth width. Press Calculate. Copy the twist angle for the internal gear to the clipboard. Back in Blender, add the simple deform modifier. Copy the number from the clipboard to the angle box. Click Apply. Make sure the 3D cursor is in the origin. In the edit mode, select everything. Duplicate and scale along the z-axis by negative 1 to create a mirror reflection. Select everything and press remove doubles. Press Ctrl N, to fix the normals. Select the top row of vertices. Press Shift S and select cursor to selected. Extrude outwards by pressing E, then S, then scale it up with the mouse. Press 7 to switch to the top view. Apply the to sphere tool by pressing Shift Alt S, then 1, then Enter. Extrude downwards by 10, and use bridge edge loops to bridge with the lower row of vertices. Press Ctrl N to fix the normals. Exit the edit mode. Our router gear is ready. Select the inner gear. Enter the edit mode. Extrude upwards by 5. Create 5 loop cuts. Add the simple deform modifier. Go to the calculator. Copy the twist angle for the external gear to the angle box of the modifier. Click apply. Create a mirror reflection. Remove doubles and fix the normals. Turn this geometry into a manifold object, the same way as with the outer gear. Let's test these two gears for compatibility using Blender's rigid body physics engine. Select the outer gear and put the 3D cursor on it. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it Axis 1. Add an empty and move it up. 
Call it hinge 1. Select the inner gear and put the 3D cursor on it. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it axis 2. Add an empty and move it up. Call it hinge 2. Add an empty and rotate it 90 degrees around the Y axis. Move it up. Call it motor. Select the outer gear. Open the physics tab. Click rigid body. Select mesh for shape and zero for margin. Select axis 1. Press rigid body. Select passive for type. Select hinge 1. Press rigid body constraint. Select hinge for type. Select the outer gear as object 1 and axis 1 as object 2. Select the inner gear. Press rigid body. Select mesh for shape and zero for margin. Select axis 2. Press rigid body. Select passive for type. Select hinge 2. Press rigid body constraint. Select hinge for type. Select the inner gear as object 1 and axis 2 as object 2. Select motor. Press rigid body constraint. Select motor for type. Select the inner gear as object 1 and axis 2 as object 2. Enable the angular motor option. Press the play button. Now let's turn this simple system into a fully functional planetary mechanism by duplicating the inner gear twice, and adding a center gear, also known as the sun gear. Go back to the calculator. We chose 48 teeth for the outer gear and 18 for the inner gear. According to the calculator, this leaves enough room for a 12 tooth sun gear with the profile shift of 0.499. To model the sun gear outline instantly, go to the instant straight and helical calculator. Enter 12 and 0 0.499 for the number of teeth and profile shift of gear 1. The number of teeth for gear 2 is not important, so enter any number such as 12. Enter 15 for the helix angle and 5 for the gear width, the same values as we used previously. Press calculate. Ignore the warning. Copy the script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, go to Layer 2. Paste the script to the text editor and press Run Script. Delete the gear on the right. Move the other gear to Layer 1. Select the outer gear. Put the 3D cursor on it. In the Outliner, select the gear outline with the name M1, Z12, X0.499. Press Shift S, and select Selection to Cursor. Enter the Edit Mode. Extrude upwards by 5. Create 5 loop cuts. Add the Simple Deform modifier. Copy the Twist Angle from the calculator. Add a negative sign in front of the number. Press Apply. Create a Mirror Reflection. Select everything. Remove doubles, and fix the normals. Turn this geometry into a manifold object, the same way as before.
Select the 18 tooth gear and its corresponding cylinder and empty. Duplicate and rotate it by 120 degrees. Do it twice to create three planet gears. We have modeled a planetary mechanism. In a typical planetary mechanism, the outer gear is stationary, the sun gear is the driver, and the planet gears rotate around the sun, and about their own axes at the same time. Select the sun gear. Press rigid body. Select mesh for shape and zero for margin. Select Eng 1. Make object 1 point to the sun gear instead of the outer gear. Select the outer gear and change its type from active to passive. Select the motor empty and delete it. Put the 3D cursor on the sun gear. Add an empty. Rotate it by 90 degrees around the Y axis. Move it down. Call it motor. Press rigid body constraint. Select motor for type, the sun gear for object 1 and axis 1 for object 2. Enable the angular motor option. Add 3 more empties. Move them down. Call them axis hinge 1, axis hinge 2 and axis hinge 3. Select axis 2. Change its type from passive to active. Do the same for Axis 2.001 and Axis 2.002. Select Axis Hinge 1. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select Axis 2 for Object 1 and Axis 1 for Object 2. Select Axis Hinge 2. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select Axis 2.001 for Object 1 and Axis 1 for Object 2. Select Axis Hinge 3. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select Axis 2.002 for Object 1 and Axis 1 for Object 2. Press the Play button. For some reason, the first attempt to run this simulation fails. But moving the bottom three empties up or down helps fix it. And that concludes our tutorial.